everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Well, it's been a little while since I shopped at Pretty Little Thing. Uh, it's been basically a year, and the first time that I shopped there, well, it was a disaster. <laughs> I find them so hit and miss. They have some clothes that are amazing, others that are not so, and there's even some clothes that'll land you in a Daily Mail article about fashion fails. <laughs> yes, yes, that is uh, my claim to fame. They do have terrible, terrible reviews online because, let's be honest, their customer service is terrible and basically every time you order, half your order isn't gonna come. Happened to me last time, happened to me this time. In fact, 12 items were missing from this particular video, so uh, there was meant to be two more days worth of outfits, but half the stuff just didn't turn up. So I pieced together outfits as best as I could. It was crazy because with the amount of clothing that I ordered, two of them turned up at the same time, two of them were missing, one of them came a week later, one of them just didn't come at all, and when I asked their customer service, hey, what's happening with my parcel, they were like, oh, you're gonna have to wait 28 days from the date of shipping or something like that for us to lodge a claim. And I was like, can't you just give me the updated tracking information? And they were like, no. It's real luck of the draw with Pretty Little Thing. You're really like rolling the dice and uh, waiting to see what happens. Some of the clothes turned up and I do have a week long wear test for you. I'm actually pretty happy with these outfits overall. The stuff is nice. Some of it's really nice. Some of it's very, very trendy. Some of it's you know, it just doesn't fit well at all, but I was pretty happy with all the things that I show in this video. Let's have a look at my week wearing clothes from Pretty Little Thing. The outfit I wore on day one was this red overall dress with a white turtleneck underneath, red sock boots, a black handbag and a black beret. Now I'd bought a chair secondhand on Gumtree and we headed out to pick it up that day. The dress is a little bit short, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're bending down and picking things up a lot. We have my throne. Basically, we found it second hand and we're gonna give it to Sam, the DIY man, and he's hopefully gonna clean it up a little bit. I don't know if we'll have to reupholster it. It looks a little bit dirty. We're gonna try and paint it as well. Okay, so aside from a little bit of dog pee, it's in really good condition. It was only- It looks really good on the camera. But Does it? You can, can you of... see the dog pee? It's from a nightclub. He said he got it from a nightclub that closed down, so. I don't know what sort of things have been on here, or who's been on here, or who's been doing what on here, but it's about to get a new lease of life. <laughs> I've definitely worn the overalls again. They were very comfortable and they were made of quite a nice sort of corduroy material. I really didn't like the turtleneck at all. I felt like it was fitting me in a really unusual way. It is kind of loose, which means it doesn't stick to your torso very well, so it does ride up. So it's not the best top to wear underneath things, particularly if you're trying to layer your outfits. The boots were comfortable because the heel is very, very chunky. Keep an eye out for a DIY video that I make about this chair because I feel like it's gonna be one hell of a renovation project. I took the outfit out for lunch at the local collective and we did some grocery shopping too and I discovered that the pockets can hold a phone. You guys know just how much I adore pockets. I actually wore this outfit during my Fashion Nova video and a whole bunch of people were leaving comments saying that they really, really liked it. It's not my usual colour scheme, obviously it's black and red and white, whereas I'm normally wearing white and purple and pink and that sort of thing, but I did really enjoy wearing it. It was almost like a fall kind of colour palette and I really can't look past a, a good overall dress. So uh, the overall outfit was wonderful. Day two was probably my favourite day. I wore this Mean Girls t-shirt, hoop earrings, a little skinny pink glasses, jeans that have love hearts all over them, and strange clear plastic shoes. It was actually filming this video that made me realize that I definitely needed to invest in contact lenses. Now, uh, unfortunately, Sam, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but because I'm wearing these pink glasses, I can't actually see anything. <laughs> Wait, These aren't my where, prescription lenses. Where are your actual glasses? Not here. Okay, so today Sam and I are going out shopping uh, and given that I'm wearing a Mean Girls outfit, it was the first and only time in my life that I can justify myself saying this. Get in, loser! We're going shopping! Oh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You can't sit with us. Do I, do I just walk? So we're heading to Spotlight right now. We're going to pick up some crafty stuff for a DIY video over on Sam's channel. So we, we are. are indeed going shopping. And you get to rock your shoes in the hallways. Yeah, look, I'm not so sold about these shoes. My feet kind of look like 
little sardines in a cryo vacuum. <laughs> uh, not so sold on those. I have found some uh, wow bow. Have <laughs> Jojo Siwa is suing. Oh my god, we've been here for an hour. I'm exhausted, but I can't stop looking at the pretty crafty things. It's all so beautiful. Help me. My main qualms with these shoes were that they definitely made my toes look like packaged noodles. Look, it's everyone's favorite bird. Never, never mind. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Yeah. I feel like this would actually go surprisingly well with my outfit, don't you think? <laughs> actually, yeah. After shopping with Sam, we headed out for brunch. I did feel very out of place sitting at this quirky little hipster cafe looking like that. As much as I loved the vibes of the outfit, that whole like mean girls kind of insta baddie with the skinny sunglasses and all that, it's not really me. I do almost feel like I put on a completely different persona when I dress like that. It's very Tana Mojo kind of as far as I'm concerned. The glasses have been really fun. I've worn them with a couple of other outfits and I actually, I love hate the skinny glasses trend. I think they're stupid because <laughs> it's like, what's the point of them? But also they can look kind of cool and kind of edgy. I'll tell you what though, they did make Sam look a hell of a lot like Elton John. The t-shirt felt really, really cheap. Probably not worth the money, but the jeans, the jeans are epic. Now you can DIY that. You can do jeans like that yourself quite easily. There's a lot of tutorials where people will just like cut out a little love heart from a sponge and then dip it in bleach and then you just stamp it on your jeans. That's an easy DIY. I would challenge someone to give that a go. I actually have a DIY clothing video coming up. I've got some thrifted clothes that I'm going to be altering, so I might try and give that a go myself. It's such a cute look. I've had a lot of compliments when I've worn those jeans out. People have said to me, oh my god, they're so cute. They get a pass. The, the shoes, they get a pass too, but not in a good way. In the bad kind of pass way. Like, yeah, nah, I'll pass. No, thank you. I, I don't, I don't want to look like cryo vac noodles. Thank you. I've worn the hoop earrings a lot since that video. I really like big hoop earrings. Archie really likes them too. He likes to try and play a game where he dunks his head through them. So I don't really wear them very often when I'm around home, but I have worn them out a lot. I do like a lot of the accessories on Pretty Little Thing. I think their necklaces and their earrings are really cool. They're pretty affordable as well. So this outfit, probably minus the shoes, I do really like. Day three was this red dress. Now I paired this with a little red bag, red earrings, and a pair of gold heels that I thought were a good idea, but I very shortly learnt were probably my worst fashion decision that I've ever made. Dan and I had a birthday dentist to go to, so you know, red-haired boy, red-haired girl, red dress, red purse, red earrings, red feet. So the outfit is this cute little bag, which I do really like. It can't fit my iPhone, unfortunately. All I have in here is lipstick. That's, that's it. I can't fit anything else. Uh, so I have that and I'll be carrying my phone, maybe putting all the other stuff in Dan's pocket. And then there are these earrings, which I really, really like. The only problem was that when I pulled them out of the bag, one of them was already broken and I had to do a little bit of DIY work to try and reattach it. So that was annoying. The dress, I am starting to realize that I need to invest in some shapewear because I feel like at the back here, you can see the line where my bum and my undies are, but I know that you can get like shape wear pants that basically they sort of go from here all the way down uh, and the shoes look I, I feel like I'm getting blisters already like just looking at them is giving me blisters and walking around the apartment I'm already starting to feel sore so uh, luckily for me oh would you look at that thank you Daniel <laughs> if only they would fit in the handbag actually they might hang on oh just adjust okay well I box isn't coming with me because of the size of this handbag so at least I can bring some of these hey look they fit okay there you go guys like a little handbag will fit some lipstick and some band-aids so I guess that's really all you need when you're going out for a night on the town right okay I must say this dress gave me curves like Kim Kardashian is quaking okay maybe not quite but it's, it's about as curvy as I'm gonna look in my life It's very cold. I actually, I had no idea because I didn't leave the house once today. Stepped foot outside. It's literally 11 degrees, which is this many degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm dying. <laughs> it's 25. My feet are killing me. Thank you for providing me with the band-aids. They're here. They're okay. here. I'm okay. Very, very bad. Really, really, really bad. Should have bought some hash puppies. <laughs> hey, Alex. Time. Uh, 
Well, we tried to get into the restaurant, but they were fully booked and they don't take reservations. And they told us that there wouldn't be Three room. Three hours and 40 minutes later. Three hours and 40 minutes. So we're trying to entertain ourselves for the next three hours and 40 minutes. And we're scouting around the place, looking to see if we can find somewhere else to eat. And I am so full of regret right now. My feet haven't been in this much pain in a long time. I'll tell you what, this dress is many things, but insulated, it is not. <laughs> How long have we been here, Alex? Three hours. Three hours? Three hours. <laughs> two hours. No, three hours. Look how I'm dressed. There's wait, people. wait, wait. Look, look at my exposed yeah. shoulders. Exposed shoulders. <laughs> they were nice enough to give us blankets. Give us blankets. <laughs> it's, um, what, eight degrees, so. <laughs> the food will be worth it, though. And drop in. <laughs> I had a little play around with the off-the-shoulder sleeves, and you know what? Pushed up, they actually looked really good. Overall, this outfit, the dress is bomb. I absolutely love it. I wish it came in other colors. I wish there was a purple version or a pink version. I did Photoshop it to look pink and it looked great. I love that shape and I love the silhouette that it gave me. The bag was okay, but it was very, very small. I mean, obviously it's a small bag, like I did expect that, but it, it's not very big on the inside because it's so padded you can really not fit very much in there at all but it is very stylish and i loved the earrings too but the earrings have since broken I, that was the first time and the only time i got to wear them because one of the earrings it it just it the whole thing fell apart like half of it just disappeared one day i wasn't being rough with it i just put the earrings in my ears went out came home one earring was there the hook of the other earring was in my ear but the earring was gone so um by the end of the night though, I really had completely yeah, given up. I true. literally felt like I would never be able to stand ever again. I donated them, literally straight away, which is probably a mean thing to do because now some poor sucker is going to probably buy them from a thrift store and then they're going to suffer too. Do not buy skinny, strappy high heels from Pretty Little Thing. Just, just don't do it. Just dip your toes in the ocean and let sharks bite your feet off. It's probably going to be less painful. Day four was my favorite outfit and I think Archie might like it too. It was indeed a bird outfit. I wore a pink bodycon mesh top with birds on it, a pink flippy skirt, nude strappy heels, which did not go well, an adorable pink handbag though. So the little teeny tiny bag that I have to wear with today's outfit is this little love heart and literally the only thing that'll fit is... Whoa! <laughs> One lipstick. I've had to bring this little bag that Sam made for me and I will put this bag inside this bag and this bag has my phone and my wallet in it. So for pictures and stuff I will just wear the little the little heart bag but for every, everything else I've got this cute bag that Sam made. Now I can't tell if day four's shoes were more painful than day three's shoes or if they just felt super painful because my poor feet suffered very badly on day three. We had to go for our wedding menu tasting. We had to go out to the caterers and try out the food that we could potentially be having at our wedding. And I got out of the car, walked to the caterers place, which was only a couple of hundred meters, could hardly make it up the hill. Afterwards, we wanted to go get some lunch. Yes, I know, we just tasted a bunch of food, but we were still hungry and I was in desperate need of caffeine. And suddenly this video took a downward turn into uh, how to not wear shoes for a day. Okay, a little bit of an update. My feet were so sore wearing those shoes that I have asked Daniel to go find me a pair of shoes and I'm just standing here waiting for him. So I don't know what he's gonna come back with, but fingers crossed that it's something pink or, or something that will at least match this outfit so uh, I will update you when Dan gets back. Here he is. Oh that's that's promising. Peter Alexander. They don't make shoes. That's a pajamas. Oh my god. Daniel Ugg boots. Ugg boots but they're pink. They're beautiful. They, they are they are incredibly beautiful. Here take take this. Just, just toss those awful shoes away. I'll tell you what guys putting on Ugg boots at the end of a day like that was like a religious experience. I have seen God guys and she wears pink Ugg boots. Straight off with the high heels. I've, we'd got our expectation reality photos and now I have to rip these things off and then never look at them again. 
No, da no Daniel. <laughs> no. No, I mean, maybe with a pair of socks they'd be okay, but you know, it's been a while since I wore Ugg boots outside of the house, but I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. People were looking at me funny, like they were looking at my top half and thinking, oh yes, she looks nice, and then looking at my bottom half like, but I don't even care. I'm comfortable and that's all that matters. You guys are definitely gonna roast me for this outfit. I had a vision. Uh, I'd actually seen an image, like a, a, a styling mood board kind of image. This was it. And I thought that that was such a cool looking outfit and I tried to recreate it by buying stuff from Pretty Little Thing. So what I bought was a green turtleneck, a white button up top, a black blazer, two clippy belts, big cargo pants, zip up ankle boots, and a black handbag. Now that was my best attempt at recreating that picture. Really what I just ended up looking like was Kim Possible. I had to head out to uh, fix a camera gear problem. I had basically bought a camera lens over the phone and I'd gone into the store a couple of weeks beforehand and picked it up and I opened the box and I realized it was the wrong lens and a couple of weeks had gone by and I was worried that they wouldn't give me an exchange. I was worried that if I went back, they'd be like, sorry, too much time has passed. You're stuck with the lens now. I was like, you know what? This is probably the best outfit I could possibly wear for this. Like I'm gonna look like a badass, super serious, martial artist. You better give me my damn camera lens or I'm gonna so I strutted into the store with my very high heels, which weren't too bad to walk in, surprisingly. They were actually the most comfortable heels aside from the heels on day one. Uh, on days three and four, I was whinging about how sore my feet were, and I did think that it was possibly something to do with the height of the heels, but the height of these heels is basically the same as those, but these are super comfortable. So I think it's really just that the straps on the heels from the other few days, they were really, really thin straps, and they were like excruciatingly painful, and are like very rough on the edges but I mean these are like sock boots and they're super comfortable I'm, I'm very happy. I guess the Ugg boots from the day before miraculously healed my feet. Now the shirt looked really great when I was standing up but it flared out really weirdly when I sat down and I just couldn't figure out how to fix it. I'll tell you what though this outfit the Kim Possible vibes I'm not kidding they were strong. Some of my Instagram followers say that I look like Kim Possible so I'm gonna try and pull off some of her most known poses. So this outfit, let's break it down. So the shoes, excellent. Great investment, I adore them. I've worn them many times since. The turtleneck, super comfortable. Now that is a bodycon. It actually clips up at the base, which I love. I love turtlenecks like that for the exact reason of what happened on day one, where that turtleneck kind of was riding up when I was trying to layer it. But bodycon turtlenecks, they look great. They sit really, really nicely. It's very cozy material too. I love it. Can you relax? The white shirt is so nice. It's always good to have just a plain white button-up shirt and it's very comfortable. The material's really, really silky. I love it. The blazer feels cheap. Like it feels really, really cheap. So not the best in terms of the blazer. The pants are really cool, but when I posted a picture on Instagram, people were not impressed. They thought that it was, yeah, no, they, they weren't impressed at all. I do wish that they didn't cinch in at the bottom though. I prefer cargo pants that are really, really wide at the bottom. I like them to be that kind of like early 2000s chunky bootleg. But they have massive pockets on them, which is great. The handbag has since broken. The chain on the handbag broke. So there's that. So I have a sneaky little hack for you. When you're carrying a teeny tiny bag that only holds your lipstick, wear cargo pants because look, look, we've got the phone in here, perfect. I've got my purse in these ones. Eh. Wait, no I don't. Where's my purse? Oh. It's in there. I completely forgot. Cargo pants. Excellent for holding things. So they're, they're practical as well as stylish. Now since I filmed this video, the missing parcel, you know how I told you that two parcels came and then a week later another one came, Three months later, another parcel arrived. So I do have other Pretty Little Thing videos for you that I can post. Let me know if you want to see them. I mean, I post a lot of Yes Style videos because Yes Style gives me stuff every month. So uh, like once a month, basically, I can post a Yes Style video. I have enough clothes now from Pretty Little Thing because so much came late that I can post more videos. I don't know if you guys are interested or not. Let me know below if you are. Let me know if there's any other brands that you want me to test out for a week because I do love making the week long videos. I mean, I know Archie's not in them because he's got to stay at home, but we can, we can do a week long video where I wear green and I take Archie out with me. Good idea, huh?
So with that, tell me what your favorite outfit was. I'm very interested to hear. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My uh, Instagram is pretty pastel, please. Follow me there. Bless you. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!